Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update what's going on with Yellowstone Super Volcano. I'm going to start off proving to you that the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome that you see back here and Old Faithful, yes, the ground is rising. You can either take this image here and pause it, mark on the computer, your phone, whatever, where the ground is for the Mallard Lake or Old Faithful. And this image here, which is from January 22nd, 2021. Start with this image and mark out where the ground is at. And then go to this image right here. And you will see that it has, in fact, risen. If you want to do this yourself on your computer or your phone, I don't know how well the phone would work. Maybe your tablet. I'll give you the web addresses of both of these images. Use a washable felt tip pen and mark out the ground starting first with January and then compare it with the uplift here from yesterday. This is um, from the static cam yesterday. You'll have to pause the image from yesterday. I would say that the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome probably has risen because of the distance it is from the camera, maybe by about three feet. Maybe the dome for Old Faithful by about six inches, maybe a foot. You do the test yourself and put down below in the comments how far you think it has risen. But it has risen. These are images taken from the static cam all put together and they move fairly quickly. You'll have to find a time where you can actually see the hill behind and the dome where they match up. Same with this one. You also might want to take into account that this small hill here has snow on where Old Faithful doesn't. Yes, I do know, I do understand that the ground constantly rises and falls. But according to USGS, it's supposedly going through a time where it is dropping right now. The borehole data for 207 at Madison River right now, it looks like it's rising up. Top is north, bottom is east that they're measuring. Each dot would be an earthquake for the last seven days. This X and Y is kind of like a triangle. What they are doing here with this X and Y, X is north, Y is east, is measuring what direction the magma is flowing under the ground. Yellowstone is only one of five volcanoes around the world that they are watching which direction the magma is flowing. Because it has a rhyolite cap, it has difficulty, it is prevented from breaking through to the crust of the earth. Being rhyolite magma that's under the ground, that is one of the most volatile, most highly explosive types of magma you can possibly have. And that's because it's full of gases that will not be released through the cap of the hardened rhyolite. Here we have the last 30 days. You can see the dates here at the bottom. Top is north, Y is east. Here we have the tilt for Yellowstone Lake. I've talked about this before, how the lake is tipping. X is north, Y is east. For the last seven days, and I've talked about the flow of the magma seems to be going towards the uh, southeast. Under the, that's under the ground. Now it also has it. We got east, west, north, and south. That is as if you're standing there looking out across the horizon there on the ground. All right, for the last 30 days. Borehole 944 for Grant. They got that one up and working finally. Top is north, bottom is east. Remember, lots of dots means lots of shaking going on. Grant for the last couple of years is an area where the magma has been trying to come up. Uh, maybe there's areas where it's fractured, making it easier. And this is the last seven days of earthquakes. And the magma is flowing basically east under the ground. For the last 30 days, 
You can see here at different times where it took a breath, where the ground went up, and then it dropped back down. Yeah, look at that. This is Panther. This is near the border of Montana and Yellowstone National Park for the last seven days and then the last 30 days. It's got a tilt to it. See that? Top is north, bottom is east. And we'll bring it down to the 30-day disc. Another borehole for the Norris Geyser Basin area. Borehole 950. Top is north, bottom is east. For the last week, the darker the color, the more recent the activity. And then we'll come down to the last 30 days. Yeah, see that uplift. And my last report was mostly in the center. But now it kind of looks like it's the magma slowly moving towards the east. I wanted to give you the pictures from the static cam because the camera, since they got it up and running again, the pixelization is so bad. Yeah, this is old people. Yeah, horrible. On this map right here, USGS has posted 44 earthquakes within the last seven days. The so triangles are uh, mine blasts. Quarry blast. The most recent earthquake is a magnitude 1.6. That was today, the 13th of May. Looks to be up there by the Madison River area. There was also a 1.4 that was in Montana. And then a 0 0.7 western, same location up there in Montana. Uh, the quarry blast. Now that was on the 12th. Uh, Mammoth, um, a 1.1, that was on the 12th. What else we got? Um, West Yellowstone, again, up by Madison. That was yesterday, a minus 0 0.1. Another quarry blast, that was on the 11th. And, let's see, the largest would probably be... Um, what a 1.4, 1.5. Now we got Montana, 1.7. Again, Montana, 2.2. Anyways, that's all within the last week. So the most recent earthquake that USGS reported was a 1.6 northeast of West Yellowstone. Like I said, it's probably the Madison River area. Five kilometers in depth. So that would be three miles below sea level, and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. And here, using Swarm, is that earthquake. Um, this one here is Maple Creek. Uh, the one in the center is uh, West Thumb, and this is the Promontory. And we'll look at the signature right there. But there's been other earthquakes. We have before that one, this one right here, 1915 Universal Time. That's the signature. There's the spectrogram. And it's on all three monitors and not being reported. At the promontory, um, it looks actually larger. Let me close it out than that other one. Another one that they are not reporting at 1426. And I'll show you the signature. Uh, this is the Promontory, West Thumb, and Maple Creek. Let me bring this over so you can see it. Yeah, that's definitely a harmonic tremor. Harmonic tremors and volcanic tremors are basically about the same. See how it goes up and down. In my past videos, I've talked about harmonic tremors. Here at West Thumb, it looks like a series of drum beats that were coming in. You get that when you have pulsating, um, possibly through dike intrusion or a lava tube. Or it gets stuck, kind of like a kink in a hose or a rock in a hose as a um, pressure pushes it through. 
up over here we have what they actually call blobs of magma. Yeah, look at the line of melt, how low that is. More lines of melt. Blobs of magma, that's their actual scientific term. Um, yeah, for that. And then we got more blobs of magma. Let me bring this down. It went down too far. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. And it, there we go. Yeah, look how hot that is. Let's see if we can find the same time. Uh, 46. Looks like right there, maybe. Yellowstone has been recharging for another eruption for about 6,000 years. And, um, like I said, we definitely have uplift. Yeah, look at this here going on. You can do that, as I suggested. Uh, put those two web addresses in your browser or just pause the video and mark on your screen and you can see how um, there is definitely uplift going on. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As I've suggested before, um, put a little comment in. doesn't have to be anything extensive. You can just say hello. Um, because the AI for YouTube loves to um, unsubscribe pe people saying that they are bots. You're not real. I'm also on Twitter if you want to follow me on Twitter. And if you wish to support my work, I'm on Patreon. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.